Hello, today I'm going to cover binary fission, transduction, and conjugation, genetic diversity. So what we're talking about here is mainly bacteria. And bacteria uh, replicate, or they make clones of themselves. So it's not sexual reproduction like uh, mammals go through, but it's asexual reproduction, where there's no... Uh, um, exchange of DNA before reproducing and replicating. And it talks about that up here, what asexual reproduction is and what some positives and negatives are to it. But then I've got three images. And what we're going to do with this, and you can see I added the color blue here. Well, what we want to think about is we've got our bacteria. Our bacteria is going to go through binary fission where it makes replicas of itself, right? So here are the two new cells now. From the one, we got two. But in one of these, we get a mutation. So something has mutated inside the DNA. There is no mutation here. It does not get that same mutation. Because that mutation can happen randomly. So it takes place in this one. So I want to color in the bacteria that are going to have this mutation now. So I'm going to color that one in blue. Well, I want you to color in the rest of the bacteria that are going to have this same mutation. Now, I already said this one doesn't have that mutation, so it wouldn't be able to really pass it along. So none of these would have it. But what about this? Well, these two are replicas of this first one, so they would both have it. I would shade both of those blue. And you just work all the way down, highlighting the, the ones in blue that have that mutation, okay? Now, that's for binary fission, when they just, one cell splits apart and becomes two identical cells. There's also transduction. Transduction is when um, is when there's viruses, and I have the viruses here. That's what these things are. I'll, I'll write virus. And you can see some are outside in the environment, some are within the bacteria. And those viruses can transfer DNA to the bacteria. So you see the viruses inside of this bacterial cell. They transferred some DNA in here, and the product of that is this red circle that I've made. So that's, that's the product of the DNA that was transferred from virus to bacteria. Right? These big ones are the bacteria. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, shade that in green. And any of these cells that are producing this red, it's some kind of um, uh, like a protein, right? This red protein, any of them that are producing that have gone through transduction and we want to shade them in green. So this one here is also producing that protein. So we shade that one in green. This one doesn't have the protein. We don't shade that one in, okay? Just shade in the ones that are producing the protein uh, where they got the DNA from the virus to make it. And then the final one is conjugation. No viruses in this one. What we have here is just um, bacteria cells again, right? So bacteria. In conjugation, what they do is they get close enough where they can actually swap genes with each other. So this is direct physical contact, swapping genes back and forth. So in red, I'm gonna color in the ones that have this new gene. So that new gene, that swapped, that swapped out genes, that's this green circle here. So, okay, so I know this one went through conjugation. I also know this one went through conjugation because it has that same green um, circular DNA. What about this one? Well, this one doesn't have it, so it did not go through conjugation, so I'm not going to color it in red. I will find the other ones that have these to color in red. 
All right, I hope this helps. Thank you very much.